everyone! Welcome back to Rosenberg Library's Virtual Storytime. My name is Heather and I am so excited to be able to bring this to you all at your homes. Um, today we have a lot of fun stuff to do and talk about because it's finally springtime! It was official as of yesterday and I'm so excited. I could not be more excited because I hate being cold and I don't like winter. But let's go ahead and start our story time. So if all of you at home want to stand up, we're going to do Hickory Dickory Dock. But first I want you to stand up and stretch your arms way up high, way, way, way up high, and then stretch to the left and stretch to the right. All right, now put your hands together like the pendulum of a clock and put them way down low. Are you ready? Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory duck. Oh yay, good job. Okay, so springtime, what do we see during the spring? We might see one of these. What is this? A bird. Do you know what color this bird is? It's red. And what sound do birds make? Listen. It's always nice to listen to the birds make music. We also have, who is this? A frog? Did you hear that? What do frogs sound like? What sound do they make? Ribbit, ribbit. And what do they do? Do they jump? Can you hop around like a frog? But here at Rosenberg Library, we don't say ribbit. We say read it, read it. Frogs are fun, and there are a lot in Galveston, so you can go and find some. Oh, we also have, mm, do you know who this is? You might see some when it's starting to get dark outside. This is a lightning bug. And we have lightning bugs, and we also, this is our bee that we saw from the last time. What sound do bees make? Bzzz. Also see a butterfly. Butterflies are beautiful. All right. Do you know that a lightning bug is considered an insect? Well, our next song is about a spider, but spiders are not considered insects. They are arachnids. So we're going to go like this for the itsy bitsy spider part. It goes up the water spout, down comes the rain wash the spider out, and then we're going to up comes the sun, and dry out all the rain, and then the itsy bitsy spider goes up the spout again. Okay? Okay, you ready to sing it with me? I want everyone to stand up at home and sing really loud. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider You can go to Rosemary Library's homepage, click on the Kids tab, and find the database Book Flicks. When you find Book Flicks, you will also find this title. It is The Ant and the Grasshopper by Rebecca Emberley and Ed Emberley. And it's really cute. The ant is hard at work on her chores, but all of a sudden, in the distance, she hears beautiful music. She knows she should probably keep working on her chores, but she has to go investigate the joyful noise. So definitely read this one. The, oh, the thing I like about book flicks is they pair a picture book with a nonfiction title. This one is paired with a book um, called Inside an Ant Colony, and it's really neat. It shows you what the inside of an ant colony looks like, so you should definitely check that one out. And we have a special special guest in our 
going on? Do you see our mouse? Oh, the mouse is very shy, though. Would you like to sing a song with me to get the mouse to come out? Are you ready? All right. Where is mouse? Where is mouse? Oh, here I am. Here I am. How are you today, mouse? Very hungry, thank you. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Mmm, let's go eat this watermelon. Yum, 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 Mmm. All right. Let's let Mouse eat her watermelon, and we'll put her right here. All right, and our next song is Five Little Monkeys Sitting in a Tree. And we're all going to be alligators. So when my alligator swims, I want you to put your hands together and make your alligator swim towards the monkey. Okay? And when the monkeys tease that Mr. Alligator, put your hands up by your ears and tease Mr. Alligator. Can't catch me. All right. Ready? Five little monkeys sitting in a tree. Tease Mr. Alligator can't catch me. A lonker Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. But that monkey said, ha, missed me. <laughs> How many monkeys do we have left? You want to count them? One, two, three, four. Four little monkeys sitting in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. But that monkey said, ha, missed me. Ready? How many do we have left now? Three. Three little monkeys sitting in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. But that monkey said, ha. Missed me. How many monkeys do we have left? Two. Two little monkeys sitting in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. But that monkey said, ha, missed me. One left. One little monkey sitting in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. But that monkey said, ha, missed me. How many monkeys do we have left? Zero. And our alligator is still hungry. So this is the rhyme, Five Hungry Ants. If you have little bitties at home, parents, you can get your fingers and tickle them while you're marching into things. But if you are a big kid and you're doing this rhyme with me, I want you to stand up and start marching. Ready? Five hungry ants marching in a line came across a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. Achoo! Everybody give a great big sneeze, and there goes one of our ants. How many ants do we have left? All right, everybody, for our next rhyme, I want you all to get a color scarf, or a regular scarf at home, or a dish towel, or a t-shirt, or whatever works for you. But I want you to ball that scarf up. Ball it up really, really small, because it's going to be our popcorn kernel. Because at any good picnic, I love popcorn. Or any time, really. Okay? So, ball it up really, really tight. Ready? Popcorn kernels. Popcorn kernels. In the pot. In the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Till they pop. Till they pop. And then throw it way up in the air when you pop. Okay? You want to do it one more time? And then parents, if you have really little ones, you can hold them and pop them up too. Okay, ready? Ball it up really, really tight. Popcorn kernels. Popcorn kernels. In the pot. In the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop. 
till they pop. Yay! Good job, everybody. All right. This is the part of the story time where I would once again read a book. But I'm not going to do that on camera. This is And Then It's Spring, written by Julie Fogliano and illustrated by Erin Stead. If you go to our homepage, click on the Kids tab, click on Book Flicks, and find this book and read it with your family. It's about a little boy that is so ready for spring, just like I was before spring started. So you read about what he does once spring starts. And unfortunately, that is all I have for you today. But I had a great time with you all, and I hope you had a good time too. And I want you all to join me in my goodbye song. So we're going to wave goodbye. And then for friends, we put both pointer fingers up, and they hug twice because they're friends. And then we point to our watch or our wrist for time. And then to say, we put our hand near our chin because we're not going to touch our face right now and then we wave goodbye okay ready goodbye friends goodbye friends goodbye friends it's time to say goodbye all right everybody thank you so much for watching and keep stay tuned because we will be doing these more often thank you